think one of the problems we have of women leaving science and medicine is that um, we're expected to make our mark very early in our career around the time we're having children and if we have children it's very difficult to get back into you can't do two things you, at you once. can't do two things at once. I think the whole career structure is designed around the career of men and the uh, milestones that a male career uh, is sort of designed around and that you know that doesn't really uh, fit very well with the way that women work and uh, the way that women think within their ambition. At uh, this level you realize that uh, um, it is the personality that counts a lot and uh, therefore if you are not driven, motivated to mm -hmm. have power or so on, you are a sort of put aside, is not interested and, and instead that maybe is not the case, is that we misinterpreted. Yeah, m women and men have a different way of achieving and that is why many postdoc or uh, a person at very early career, they start to see this mm -hmm. at a different level and because they say, I will never be able to do that. And, uh, so they get put off? Absolutely. It's you... like a Premier League footballer taking time out to have a baby. It's very hard to regain that momentum. I've never heard of that happening. No. Battles with the other half about whose turn it was to collect children from nurseries, arriving there in a complete sweat, you know, because the experiments are going, and with science, you know, our experiments don't necessarily fit easily at all into a nine till five day. I have a son that is 14 now, so I have experienced this quite recently, and uh, the, my office has become his second home. Uh, because it was mainly, we have a very good childcare in Cambridge, so um, in different places you have these different institutes, they have their own childcare, and so you can accommodate, but is these uh, extra hours, uh, meetings that is the problem, are the problems, and therefore you have to find a place where to live, or, and uh, my office was very suitable. <laughs> but that's not ideal, is it? No, and if you've got more ideal, than one child, or? Yes, no, if it was more than one child, I could not have. Done that. And the only way I could do it is my partner t took time out of his career or in fact didn't develop a career so he could stay at home and look after the children. If I hadn't have had that, I don't think I would have achieved what I've achieved. So you hear things like, uh, oh, but women don't want to be a uh, head of department. You know, they're, they're different. Says, yeah, they have different this? values, yes. Yes. right? And yes. th that, that yes. is because they don't express their ambition in the same I way. See. So yes. I think you need to encourage people in a, in a different way in order to give them equal opportunities. Yes. I would say compromise, you do your best. None of us are perfect needs some development of a thick skin, I would say, occasionally, and try and lessen the guilt. Easily to say, now my children have left home, none of them have ended up in jail, so, you know, some kind of success. Some kind of progress. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I would say just ignore it, yeah. really. Ignore it and uh, be fearless.